Welcome to Getting Started with Motion Ninja, Part 3. In this tutorial, you will learn how to edit and combine multiple meta effects to make creative animations. Let's get started. Tap New Project and finish Basic Project Settings. Add a picture to create a new layer. Click Edit and change its duration to 8 seconds. Click Effect and choose Flip Layer. Now you can see a brief introduction of Meta Effect, which needs keyframes to make animations. Those with yellow keyframes icon are Meta Effects, though it looks a bit complicated to edit, but with Meta Effects, you can customize animations as you like. Now we can make flipping animation by adding keyframes and adjusting rotate parameters. Add a keyframe with no parameters changed. Slide to 1 second. Change rotate parameter x to minus 70. The second keyframe will show up automatically. Choose a curve and the first meta effect is ready. Tap basic and adjust its size. Then add to keyframes at the same timing. Don't change parameters of the first keyframe. In the second keyframe, adjust the position parameter to make the picture lower. Add curve between two keyframes. Then add a saber effect. You'll see the saber effect doesn't fit the outline of the picture, so long press the saber effect layer and drag it below the flip layer. Here's the proper saber effect. Add a keyframe at the beginning and adjust the start parameter to 1. Then add the second keyframe at 1 second, adjusting the start parameter to 0. Choose a curve. At the end of the saber layer, Add the third keyframe and choose any color. Add curve between last two keyframes. Now we have finished the combination of Tamita effects, 3D flip and saber. Drag timeline to one second. Add a dancing video to a pip layer. Tap cutout and choose people cutout. Go back to main editing screen and click the picture layer. Choose Saber Effect and add it to the clipboard. Return to the cutout layer and tap Paste button at the bottom right corner. You can easily copy the same effect with just one click. Long press and drag the last keyframe to the proper time and adjust the duration of the Saber layer. Now the Saber Effect of the Lady is ready. Tap and choose a fade up animation at the beginning. Return to main editing screen and add the same dancing video. Adjust its position and choose a filter. Then add flip layer effect and zoom the size with scale parameter. Add a keyframe and adjust its rotate parameter Y to minus 50. Add the second keyframe to the end and adjust its rotate parameter Y to 50. Then choose a loop curve between two keyframes, which is best for repeating effect. Tap Basic. Add a keyframe at the beginning and adjust its position to the left. Then add a keyframe at the end and adjust its position to the right. Choose the same loop curve and you can see the video rotating round the center. Add a fade up animation at the beginning. Return to the main editing screen and drag the video layer below the cutout layer. Tap play button and you can see the creative effect of a dancing lady popping up. Download Motion Ninja and have a try.